Excuse me. Excuse me. Ha! <laughs> what do you gotta say about that, huh? That's what I thought. Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Different Breed, aka the Farmbringer, and welcome back to another episode of Skyblock. Apex has done some stuff since we've been gone. And, uh, right. So he's he's taken down some of the, the, the tower over here. He's built the little chest thing in the background there. Uh, I, I built that smelter thing behind the smelter. He built that. Uh, he built that little farm over there. Yeah, he's done some things. He's also done something else up here. So, I, I, I talked to him about this. I was like, it would be really cool if, if, you know, instead of these towers here, we put this, like, at, like, the bottom of, of the map here. Right, right all the way at the very bottom, so that you couldn't see anything, and when you check the level of the island, then you're just, you're amazed, because it's, like, a high level, but you, you don't know what's going on. Because you can't see anything of, like, why why it's such a high level. So, uh, I guess I can explain explain that little leveling system there. So, if I type IS level right here in the chat, you can see that our level is 1314. We only need two more points to reach the next level. But, yeah, so I guess uh, trying to figure out, like, what this whole thing is. I guess you're trying to get your... Your island level up to the highest or something? I don't know. I don't know. So there's there's this whole like money system that you go through and you and you purchase things and all that. But uh yeah, so so going back to the island level thing, so he built it up there where you can clearly see it from everywhere. And uh I mean we kinda discussed putting him underneath, so we're gonna see how much we can trigger him by getting rid of all this and and putting it underneath. So in today's episode, we are going to talk about selling things. Uh, I'll go over that in a little bit. I'll take you to the shop and we'll I'll, I'll show you what's going on there. Um, because we can sell some items and make some money. So, I mean, the goal right now is to kind of get a whole bunch of money so we can... Uh, I guess so we can just buy a better generator. I'll explain that, I'll explain that. We're gonna go to the bottom of this map and we're going to make a little bit of a floor down there. Not the entire thing, but you know, we're gonna check it out and see how it actually looks down there. I haven't been down there yet, so I'm pretty excited to do that. I don't know why I just changed that. And then we're gonna create an elevator from the bottom there. So we can do these little things here with iron blocks on this map where if you get on an iron block, you you jump, you go up to the next one, and oh, and you can go 15 blocks, I believe Apex told me. And if you crouch, you can go down. So we're gonna make a little elevator from the bottom of the map, all the way back up to here, and then we're gonna we're gonna get rid of all this and see how much Apex yells. Oh, see how much Apex yells at us. And then after after we go over those things, let me clear these. Oh. Ooh. So then, so then after the bottom, we go we go to the bottom and build some things out there. We're gonna clear out, you know, these towers. We're gonna clear this out, like I just said. Clear all that out. We can clear out these farms too, as well. These other farms here. Stop the mobs from spawning in places that we don't want them to. Again, and then for the most important part of today's episode. We are going to at least start, hopefully finish. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can finish. Yeah, oh, give me that XP. Give me that. Yeah. We're going to, I'm hoping we can finish. Build an XP, or build an XP farm. Build a tree farm. So I've ran into so many times where I've needed a whole bunch of wood and we just haven't had it. We, we keep running out of wood. We need more, we need more, we need more. So it's becoming such a huge hassle that we need wood constantly. I'm gonna build a tree farm so we can start harvesting this wood a lot quicker and easier and we shouldn't have to worry about it too much. So that's the main purpose of this episode is to get that tree farm, but let's get these other things out of the way as well. I guess not so much out of the way, but I'm excited to do them. So actually, 
let me let me warp you over to the the shop. So we just have to type that in, sit over here, and then bam, so we're at the shop now. Now, so we can sell some items here. Man, it's a little laggy. So we can sell some of these items here. We can sell these items. We can sell these items here. Items here, these kinds of items here, and these ones. And these are the only items that we can sell. Now, these, all these items are farmable items. We can make farms for these items and we are definitely going to. So we have a mob farm kind of right now, you know, for these simple things here. And we have kind of some farms for these, you know, we got the manual ones. We're going to, you know, fix that sometime in the future. We have a sugarcane farm, an automatic one, but you know, we can build it bigger. We have a cactus farm, obviously first episode there. We're going to get rid of the ones that we have right now. Oh, there we go. It's better with the, that's part of the mob one. We have not exactly. We don't have a, a huge gold ingot farm. We actually don't have really one at all for that cobblestone. Eh. I mean, we have the generator that, that does this, 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 and this, right? So our generator does this gold from the diamond, which is nice. It's definitely nice. And we do sit on it and, and farm that out. But you know, it's not, it's not, uh, exactly perfect, but you know, it gets us by, it gets us by and we don't have any of these farmed right here, but we can definitely definitely get into doing that but if you look at this little chart that i made right here we can see which items that we actually want to sell the most so the ones in yellow are they're okay you know they're they're good to to go you know in a pinch or whatnot you know you if you need to sell those we can we can go ahead and sell those and i'll be okay with that the blues are definitely good you want to you know sell those more than the yellows obviously and then the greens are the ones you definitely want to sell the most of obviously you know you have your diamonds and you have your emeralds in there interesting enough you have your gold in there as well but What's the most surprising about this is that diamonds aren't the things that sell the most, right? You would think that the diamonds would be the most expensive, but they're not. It's actually fish. Fish is the most expensive, which is weird to me. But uh, yeah, we are going to have to make a fish farm like really soon. Because if we want to get that money fast, the fastest way to do it right now that I know of is to get this fish farm going and to get all these as much raw fish as we can possible. Like that's crazy. I mean, diamond is, if you want to sell diamond, you're you're selling it at, at $6 per diamond. But fish, you're selling it at $7.5 per diamond. That's crazy. That's ludicrous, right? All right. So, so we're going to have to make a fish farm. Maybe in this episode. Maybe we'll squeeze it in. Probably not because the tree farm is going to take a while. But we're going to get to it very soon. But here's the other side of the shop. So you can buy items that you can't necessarily obtain within the game, like right now. So these are some of the items. I mean, these are all the items that you can buy. So you can't buy like everything, but we can get some things like end stone. We can get, we can get the end portals here. But I mean, look at this, they're 50 grand for one. That's crazy. But I wonder what exactly is in the end. I mean, everything in here is modded, so the nether itself was like a little space. And so the end's going to be, you know, obviously going to be another little space, but I wonder what's actually in it. I'm, I'm, I just, I, I really want to know, but 50 grand for one, that's going to take some time, but yeah, so you can buy, you can buy some simple things. I don't know what that means. 2,500. Is that a cow? I don't know. I don't know what these things are. But so, so yeah, so this is the other side of the shop of buying things. So you can sell things and you can buy things, which, you know, is, is why we need to make some farms so we can get some monies so that we can buy more things. Also the cobblestone generator that we have, the reason why it spits out the ores is that you can upgrade your generator. <laughs> if I can talk, you can upgrade your generator. So right here, I have mine set at, at tier seven that I have right now, but uh, I I found out that that only the island owners can upgrade the generator, and I'm not an island owner. It says owners with an S. I wonder if Apex can make me an owner. But right now I'm not the owner of his island at all. He is, he is in complete control, oh my gosh. So 
I can't upgrade his generator. I have, so I've been wasting money, but that's okay because we've been learning. So as you can see right here, you we, we can get stone, we can get cobblestone, coal, iron, gold, emerald, and diamonds at that certain percentages there. And they go up the more you buy them or the, the higher the tiers, the more percentages they go up. I'm hoping at some point we can get some uh, redstone within these generators. It doesn't, what is this? It doesn't, it doesn't say why, this, this server is getting really laggy right now, oh my gosh. But it doesn't, it doesn't tell you, I can't find anywhere online any information about this. I've asked in a few places and nobody has responded to me, so that kind of sucks. But, alright, let's get back to our island and let's check out the bottom of it. Okay, so it's not being laggy for the moment, so hopefully it stays that way. But let's, let's start, uh, building down, I guess. Oh! Come on! All right, so if anything, I would assume that there is something in the middle of this area. Are you gonna come down with me? All right, we gotta, we gotta breathe. There we go. So if there's anything down here, I'm gonna assume that it's in the middle of the map. All right, I found the end right here. I can tell because this is where the water stops and there is nothing down here. I was really hoping that there was gonna be some bedrock or something. Dang, there's nothing down here whatsoever. So we're gonna have to do something in order to get, get a platform down here. That's very unfortunate. This is a lot of block. This is gonna take a while. So this is where I'm thinking about making the elevator. We're gonna have it tucked away back here, all nice and hidden. I wonder if I can, oh, I could probably close that from out here, but I probably can't get to it. So we're gonna, we're gonna leave it the way it is. I wonder if I can make a lever down. Oh, uh, we're getting sidetracked. So we're gonna make the elevator back here, I'm thinking. We can probably get rid of these. We can get rid of the ladder now that I know that I can do that. So that's nice. But we, worried. Uh, I gotta figure out exactly where I want it. If you don't know how to build down in Minecraft, it's actually pretty easy. So all you gotta do is take a piston, just like this, and then, can I power it? No, I can't. Can I power it? Can I put a, a lever on it? I didn't think so. So I need to take the piston and put some blocks in it and then you power it. Once you, once you power it, I'm, I'm making it look so bad. Wait, is that not the piston one? Oh no. I don't know how to redstone. No, no. Oh my god. All right. Once you So it's very simple. All you need to do is push it. Then then uh put the block there. Then push it again. Then put the block there. And push it again. Then put the block there and push it again. And just keep repeating. And then once you've pushed it as far as it can go, which is 12 blocks, I do believe, all you have to do is, is go down. And then we can do this. So this is, this is what makes it easier, right? So then, and then you just go like this. There we go. Man, who was making this thing lag so much? So you see right there, I can't do it anymore because the piston can't push it anymore. Not because of the lag, but just because it can't push it. So then all you gotta do is break this down, destroy this, and then just keep going down. Okay, next stop, the basement. I made a nice little elevator here. Now you can only tell that you're going down when you're actually looking at our base here. Otherwise you can't really tell, but we're here. And oh, you can see a little difference right there. You can see it obviously more time, more in the daytime. Here it is, this is as low as we can possibly go on this map. I've built the elevator all the way up, nice and simple. I don't know what I want to do with it though. I kind of feel like we should encase it in glass. Kind of feel like I want to do that. I don't know yet. But what's nice about doing this is that now we have like all these separate floors, right? So this could be a floor, this could be a floor. You know, who knows what we're gonna do on these separate floors, but right now what we're gonna do is get rid of all of that, the, uh, the, the ores whatever you want to call them. We're going to get rid of all of those up here. We're going to get rid of all of these, these towers, all of it up here. We're going to get rid of all that and we're going to put it down in the basement. 
We're gonna see how long it takes Apex to start yelling at us. I guess I should do this. Before I start, let's do an island level check. We are at 1315, so we'll see where we're at once I take everything down. Oh no, oh no, bad news guys. Bad news. He logged in. No, I didn't, I wasn't able to clear all this before he noticed. I cleared all the towers and he started to take the blocks from the towers and I think he's trying to put them up here. No, it's more work for me. It's too late. I have to show him before he decides to throw some stuff up there. I'm having him follow me. We'll see if we'll see if he decides to do this instead. Hopefully he does. So I was really hoping that I was going to be able to take all this stuff down before Apex logged in, but he ended up, you know, logging in and seeing things. So that was upsetting, but he is over here helping. Well, he was. I swear he was. He was. Oh, there he is. So he's over here actually helping, which is nice. I just kicked something underneath my desk and that hurt. Uh, but yeah, so he's over here helping. I didn't think he was going to. So that's nice of him to actually help and start to move stuff downward. I told him I'd do it all by myself. So he's being super nice and helping with this little project that I got going on here. Even though he placed all these blocks, I just, all right. <laughs> so uh, I was really hoping to take all this stuff down and hide it underneath. I was just going to put like some chests down there and shove all this stuff in chests down below. So he wouldn't even know. And he'd be like, uh, what happened to all the stuff? But obviously that didn't work out. What is going on? There we go. But obviously that didn't work out. So, oh, well, at least I got his help. So that's actually good. That's nice. Nice. It's going to be a lot quicker now, but we are still clearing out all the ores. I cleared everything out down below. The towers are done. The cactus farms are done. So all we need to do is finish this sky ore build and then uh, all the clearing will be pretty much done. And there is nothing left up there. All cleared out. All of these cactus farms are cleared out. Look at this huge area we got to work with. We just have the heads still left up from the towers. That The, the heads were on the side of the towers, obviously, and they were, I didn't take them down. They were left up. So here's, look at this huge area now. Oh my gosh, what are we going to do with this huge area? I don't know. I have no idea right now. To be honest, I don't know. But let's check out our island level real quick. It is 640. <laughs> So we decreased by almost a thousand levels. Oh man, we have so many blocks. Look at look at all the blocks that we, we took out. Look at all of this. This is all completely filled. Plus I have these. Plus, where is it? Up here. Look at all these blocks. All of these blocks. These ones, these iron ones. And not only that, but I do believe Apex has been replacing these down below already. Let me, let me eat. I just died from another mob. One of the main reasons why I'm... I'm trying to get rid of all this stuff on the main floor to get rid of the mob spawning. Look at this. Look at this. He's already, already to work over here. Man, this guy. Crazy. Crazy. Look at all this. Look at all the blocks that we have. This is all from just straight mining AFK, AFK mines from the cobblestone generator. This is ridiculous. This is going to get our island level up. Obviously, it would have been a lot less if I checked before he started building but he started building even before we were completely done with everything. So I checked as soon as I was completely cleared, but he's, he's building down there, getting up our island level secretly, because that was the main thing I wanted to do, right? So our island level would be like thousands, and people would be like, how? All you have are just these, these cobblestone things. You don't really have anything too extravagant to make it, to make it that. I mean, you have a beacon, because I, mean, I am going to leave this up here. I do believe, oh my gosh, it does. Look at that. So we only need one beacon for our entire map. What what I was thinking was just putting it right in the middle and also pushing everything underneath the floor. So all of these underneath the floor and just have like that little thing poking out. And I was thinking about putting that like right in the middle middle, but maybe, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just shove this to the side or something because I mean... Huge beacon showing itself kind of, kind of don't look amazing, I guess. Right? You think? I don't know. I'll think about it. I'm going to leave it here for now, though. Man, that was, that was some work. 
That took longer than I anticipated, but that's okay. We got it done. Now, what, what, what else is left? What else is left that we're gonna do? Well, we got some more clearing out to do. Uh, we're gonna have to, let's take those out actually. Uh, how do we do? Well, actually I should have gotten there quicker. <laughs> what an idiot. All right, so we got that. And what I wanna do is actually just clear all this stuff out. All right, so I've cleared out all of this. Now we have a nice flat ceiling. It looks so nice. I see where we started. Now that the clearing is done, it's time to start building. Ironically, I'm running out of wood to build this tree farm. So while I harvest some more logs here because we actually need some logs for this tree farm, here is the start of it. We have placed most of the sticky pistons already. Got, you know, the starting dispenser here. So we're gonna make some kind of like you know, walk way up to this thing, so it'll be like all fancy type, all looking nice. But, uh, what was I gonna say? This can't be just some regular, ordinary type of tree farm that we have going on. I mean, I can't just make, you know, a regular tree farm. Who would I be, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and figure out a way to be able to AFK farm these kinds of things because you know the creeper stuff the, the explosions of the creepers don't cause any damage to this so i'm thinking that even if we get a wither over here and try and make a tree farm with the wither it's not going to work they're not going to destroy anything which is kind of upsetting so we can't have a true afk a tree farm so that's gonna it's, it's a little annoying but if what i'm thinking is if if we have one person planting right one person's planting and another person is somewhere else somewhere like over here somewhere mining away blocks i think we can set that up so it's kind of a two-person afk farm instead of just one but you know that it's better than nothing right so we can have what i'm i'm thinking is we can make two things out of this farm we can have one be where it pushes all the blocks over here and it makes one big square area or if we flip a switch then instead of pushing the blocks into the square area it pushes all the blocks into one little area where someone could be over there uh, afk mining i think that would be really cool and interesting to do so that is what we're going to be doing but right now i'm going to need to go get some logs so i'll be back and we've done it here it is the tree farm minus the scaffolding i guess i guess you just ignore this you shouldn't see this it's done the tree farm is completed look at all the trees is already produced nice uh, as, a, as a, my shot at a joke, but so this works. We got the bone meal in here dispenses out the bones and then once a tree grows And then whoops, so once it hits far enough It gets hit that way So sometimes this thing gets messed up because of the server uh, That's my one concern about it, which is I was gonna discuss it later but I guess since that just happened, we can discuss it now. I'm concerned about the server lagging and it not being able to push the block and then it gets locked up. Hopefully that won't happen, but but yeah, it's working. It's working. So nice. So what I'm thinking is we can possibly, so I'm thinking maybe find somewhere to have I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to figure out some piston system where we can push it one way if we flip a switch. And if the f switch is not flipped, then keep pushing it this way or something and make like a big area over here or something. I don't know. I don't know. But we, we will figure this out shortly. But right now, this, this is kind of bare, right? It should it should have a shell, right? And I don't know. Oof. I almost fell off. I don't know what I should put. I guess this will stay the back open, but I don't know what I should put for the shell. I'm I'm uncertain. I know my a lot of my builds are gonna have the stone. It's just gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna have stone builds, a lot of stone builds, because 
I mean, cobblestone is free. We get a whole bunch of cobblestone. Why would we not build with stone? It just doesn't make too much sense. But now that we have a wood a wood tree farm, a wood, wood farm trees here, we'll be able to build more out of wood. So it'll be nice to change it up a little bit. But we're looking probably at some stone right now. Probably just some smooth stone around this thing. Maybe kind of mirror this, but I would rather not mirror it. I want it to be its own identity. I, I left a little space in between too, so we can like plop this down this way so we can have this here this could be the wall here and then it'll be just a small gap you know nothing major you're not I'm not wasting too much space but still saying hey this is different from this don't worry about it you know but I don't know so we're gonna have to come up with some design some blocks here also what we need to do is we need to start placing hoppers into this thing so first we need to place hoppers for this bone meal dispenser and get all that set up and then we need to place hoppers for the leaf crushers and catch some saplings and apples i guess if we're doing uh, oak trees as well so let's uh i guess let's get on to that first so i'm working on the bone meal right now the way that i want it to dispense what i'm thinking is because i want a chest you know that we can fill up on the bottom of right right at the entrance of the tree farm nice and stop lagging right at the edge of the tree farm i want to be able to fill it up right because that only makes sense and then so let me see if we can look over at it i guess i should have gone over there first but so there's right there is where the tree or where the tree where the bone meal is going to be i want to be able to fill it up down here so it's going to into a chest shoot the items back there shoot the items up and then get into these hoppers which then goes down trickles down into the bone meal dispenser over there so what i'm gonna have to do is come up with a way to lift the items up and get them into the hopper and i was thinking about doing something like this where the dispenser is facing up into a hopper trying to see if trying to see if that actually works which it seems like it does there's 10 there's 10 there's 10 see i get kind of worried because sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't and I'm wondering that if I need to, like, encase the entire thing? We'll have to figure something out. All right, I figured out how I want to do this. All right, so I have these hoppers right here. And this is in one of those simple item elevators. I made it out of stone because, I mean, I have a wonder stone, so. So we got the one, we'll put the one stick in here. And it's going to shoot up to here, go into the hopper train that I didn't, I'm not going to fall down that hole this time. And then that goes down to this thing which goes down to all these different chests here which then ends up he here hey hey all right so that works excellent 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 so that's actually pretty exciting so now we can fill up a bone meal this way so once I decide how I want this front to look like, I can go ahead and move this over somewhere, somewhere more convenient. This is where we're going to be sitting. I don't know. Maybe I'll put it over here or something. I don't know. But we can move this wherever we want to somewhere more convenient so that we can just easily fill up the bone meal. And there's like so many double chests there. We should be good. This is bad. Ah, this is pretty exciting. And I think that's going to be it for today's episode because uh, this one's getting pretty long. So I do, before, before I reveal this, I do want to say Apex did some work in between the last clip and this clip. Look at this. Ooh, look how tall this is. Also, he kept this going, which is nice. So you can, you can go all the way up. We'll go all the way up to the top. Oh, we'll drop one more down. Hey, it just worked. Oh, I can't get over there. We'll drop one more. Look at this look at all of this oh my gosh <laughs> that's great so we got we got some good good cactus coming there i wonder how the drops are doing <sighs> looks like we need to start uh <laughs> oh my god <laughs> all right we need to start uh clearing out those chests i believe <laughs> but here is the tree farm so it is pretty much not hugely been touched since that last clip there i've not made the outside for it i've not determined how i want it to look it is gonna stay like this until uh next episode probably because there's just gonna be a whole bunch more time to just build a shell for this when you know this this video is long enough as it is right right we're just gonna save this for the next episode and that's gonna be it for me for this one so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had some laughs. I hope you had some cries because you were laughing too hard, not because you were sad. But thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope to see you in the next one next week on Sunday or 
in my next video that's not Minecraft, I would appreciate that as well. And thank you for your continued support. Until next time, stay different, everybody.